Hey, I'm Joshua Hamlin. I'm out here at Sigma 3 gathering wild mushrooms. I'm going to be gathering some mushrooms and as I go along I will video the mushrooms that I'm gathering and then I'll show you how to prepare them. When gathering mushrooms there's something important to remember. Eat at your own risk. If you eat the wrong mushroom you're dead. You won't be able to tell anyone about it later because you'll be dead. Um, I generally tend to choose mushrooms with no look-alikes or if there are look-alikes they're easy to distinguish and I'll tell you about those as I go along. This mushroom here and this one up here are bluet mushrooms. They are choice edibles. They're delicious. You can recognize them by the bluish purple color of their gills though they're not the only bluish purple gilled mushroom so really do your research before gathering these. They have dangerous look-alikes. I'll show you some more bluets when I find some young ones with their strange bulbous stalks. Look at these weird little fat guys over here. This beautiful little mushroom here is a coral mushroom. Corals are one of my favorite edibles and they don't have a look-alike. So if you find a mushroom that looks like coral, then it's a coral mushroom and you can eat it. They come in a lot of different colors. We find a lot of pink ones out here, a lot of orange ones, some purple ones, some blue ones. Um, there's tan, white. You can find every color of coral, but they're all edible and they're all delicious. It seems that the longer the branches on the corals are, the better they taste to me. Um, that's my personal preference. We are just in mushroom paradise right here. Look at this guy. I don't know what this is, but I know it meets my do not eat it standard. For one thing, I don't eat any mushroom that I don't know what is, but this has warning signs. It's brown, it has gills, it doesn't really have a veil per se, but it does. So that one I'm going to leave alone. And then I saw right over here, this little red fella. This is an emetic rustla. It is not edible. It's poisonous. It's not deadly, but as its name implies, it's an emetic. In other words, it causes you to vomit. It's hot and bitter, and if you eat it, you're going to have some gastro problems. Right over here is another beautiful little coral mushroom, and this one is bright orange. This one will be taken with us. Over here is a white coral just so you can get a, an idea of the different varieties of corals. This mushroom here is a chanterelle. You can tell it's a true chanterelle by the false gills. I don't know if you can see that. And they kind of split. The false gills kind of split at the end into, into different gills so if it were a jack-o-lantern they would be true gills. Jack-o-lantern is a poisonous look-alike to the chanterelle. Growing all over this tree here are stemmed puffballs. Puffballs are edible if they're white inside and these ones are. So I'm going to gather these up to throw into our mushroom mixture. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Stemmed puffballs. Okay, so this is our haul. We got a lot of corals here, a lot of bluets there, puffballs down there, and only one chanterelle, unfortunately. Every time I go out, I find one chanterelle, and that's about it. To process these, I'm going to cut all the dirt off with a knife, run them under water. Um, I got big eyes, so when I go mushroom hunting, I gather way too much. But that's okay, we can dry most of these, with the exception of the puffballs. We cannot dry the puffballs, and I'm not going to dry the chanterelle because I'm going to eat it right now, after I cook it, of course. But I'm going to cut these up, fry some of them, eat them now, and I'll show you how to do that. It's very simple. And then we'll cut some of it into slices and throw it in the dehydrator. If you don't have a dehydrator like I never have my entire life, 
you can cut them into slices, put a string through them, and hang them from a string until they dry. But luckily we're at Robert Allen's house and he has a big old commercial dehydrator. Okay, so I've cleaned the mushrooms, cut them into slices. This plate here, I'm going to put into the dehydrator. And these ones here I'm going to cook. One thing I think it's important to tell you is, when you're cooking puffballs, you have to cut them in half. Just to make sure that they're puffballs, um, you could get a button of a poisonous mushroom and you wouldn't have anyone to tell about it later. So, cook your puffballs. You can't dry them out, they'll turn to puff. You know, so you have to cook your puffballs. All these other mushrooms should dry out all right. We've got the bluets, the corals, the puffballs, and the chanterelle. They're going into here with some butter. I always tell people butter could make dog shit taste good. I don't know, I've never tried that. And in about 10 minutes, those will be nice and ready. I'll sprinkle some sea salt on there. I try not to over-season mushrooms. I over-season everything, but mushrooms have such a good flavor on their own. I try just to use a little bit of seasoning. I use a little bit of garlic powder and lemon pepper. Those are my three favorite seasonings for just about everything. We'll stir these around as they fry. All these are going to lose their color as they cook. Unfortunately, the blues are not going to be blue. The yellows are not going to be yellow. It's all going to be kind of a gray color. But it's going to be a delicious gray color. So keep watching. As you can see, a lot of water cooked out of the mushrooms. All that juice in there is water from the mushrooms. We're going to keep cooking that until that juice is gone. All the water is cooked out of the mushrooms and now we're just frying them up a little bit longer. They're all cooked and ready to go. As you can see all the mushrooms lost their color except for the chanterelles. They still have their color. Everything else is kind of a tan and a, and a gray. Um, the chanterelles are still pretty yellow. Alright, I'm about to serve these up. Okay, here they are all fried up and delicious. We have a lot of hungry students in here and we're about to chow down on these things. Mushrooms are not very caloric so they're not good for fuel. A lot of them are medicinal but I don't know what those are. But we eat these for pure pleasure. They're just delicious. Alright guys, dig in. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>